Okay, so I need to get this room clean. So I've been um, doing some extra work in the wardrobe here. I got a few more clock radios. Uh, this one here, we're gonna look at, it's called a Koppel. It's uh, got the old flip clock on it. I don't know if it works, so I've never plugged it in. So let's go try it out. So what we have here, is what they call a flip clock. It's a Koppel or Koppel RD150. It's kind of grubby, so let's give it a quick clean. See if she comes out a bit better. It does look like a bit of dust gets inside that window as well. Look, it's peeling there. I'm not sure if I should just try and get it all off or leave it there. Alright, let's plug her in. See if she lights up. Well, the number's moving. And there is a background light there. I'm not sure if I should be lying it this way. Well, let's just wait a minute and see if um, it flips. And that time around, it went past zero and it... Oh, it's flipping on the 30. Doesn't seem right that it should be doing that. Now last time it flipped on the 30. Let's see if it does it again. Hmm. All right, it's, would you class it as working? Okay, aside from the whirring noise of the clock, which seems to be functioning, but looking over on 30, let's test out the radio. Now, looks like the knob's actually gone from here. So I'll need to, it's a makeshift knob. <coughs> Radio. It's got a nice tone which is pretty flash for an old radio. Sounds pretty good. <laughs> so the radio is sounding fine on this. When Robin was 27, he was on the cover of National Geographic, photographed with one of the camels she had walked with from Alice Springs to the Indian Ocean. The book that Robin wrote about that trip, oh, Trapped, so you can put the, um, an international antenna on here. And Robin went on to live her life between signal. Australia and India and London. Now we've got to sleep. So I assume this is in minutes, the length of time that the alarm's going to go off for before it goes off again after pushing the snooze control. And this one here looks like it sets the alarm, so I guess it's not going to be too specific on the time, looks like you've got about See, one hour, 
one, two, three, four, five, six. So it looks like you can sleep between every 10 minutes. So let's go for 1040 quickly while it's still there. So one, two, three, four. Let's see if it goes off. I might need to change the dial to auto though or alarm. I'll move it over that far. I can. Oh wait, did I get the AM and PM wrong? Oh, there's the alarm. Must be. Oh, maybe the radio is the alarm. Now actually I don't have to turn the radio off. Oh. Oh. Oh, it's got nothing to do with the alarm. You can actually turn that off so it automatically turns itself off after however long. Sorry, okay, I, I see. So I can turn this knob like this. And I guess after a certain period of time it all... Long period of time. I can see this sort of moving, but it doesn't quite get to the to the end. So in here, if I move this knob here, it turns on, and you can set it to a specific time. And then when I move the clock, you can see this moving like that. But it doesn't quite get to zero. Okay, so that's just the timer for the actual radio itself. So let's make the alarm at... Five. If we speed her up... Snoo should turn it off, but I don't think it has. And if we keep going, anyway, from my point of view, it's mostly functional. Okay, clock number two. So Hanamix HDR 1410. It's around the same error except this clock differs as in it's got a rolling dial instead of the flipper dial. And um, yeah, it's a clock radio. Auto I assume means the alarm here. Um, well let's plug it in, see if she works. Oh, she's making a bit of noise just like the other one. We can see it rolls on the five seconds before. Oh, well, to adjust the time, I can only go backwards. Actually, I don't seem to be able to adjust the hour or anything else. It won't roll over. Don't seem to be able to pull it out or push it in any harder.
and I don't see any other way to do it. So just those two knobs. Well, it works. As long as you turn it on at the right time of day, the time should be fine. And how do we actually get the radio to make on? I hear some hissing, that's a good sign. And the aerial. All right, let's have a fiddle with the radio. So we're on FM. Okay, we're on full volume there. I have no idea what that is, but it's picking up something. And the AM. Not even hearing a crackle on the AM. Yeah, well, kind of works. I'd pass that, to be honest. It's trying. <laughs> I'll take that one as a win. All right, so we've got the radio tuned into a station, so I'm just gonna, well, it sounds like multiple stations to be quite honest. Um, I'm gonna flip it onto auto. Turn it off. Flip it onto auto. Maybe we're in the alarm zone. Ah, oh, there we go. So if we set the alarm to say six, and then I worked out how to adjust the time. I just got to put a little teeny bit more force into it and it rolls over. So let's just um, fast track it over to six. Roughly around this area, we should hopefully get the alarm going off. There we go. Works a treat, eh? at those components, definitely showing some age. I guess we are talking 50 years old here. But there you go, the internals. Well, overall, both of these clocks seem to function okay. And um, the rolling one versus the flipper clock, both of them are, I think, of pretty clever technologies. So um, there we go. Switch out the lights just so we can see the display a little bit better. Though so the Hanmax obviously doesn't have any lighting at all or it simply doesn't work. Mark, 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 mark is fine. Mark, mark, mark is fine. Mark. Mark.